Hello, I'm Dr. Lauren Hyman, and welcome to Scooch Down, where you talk to your gynecologist like you talk to your friends. So you have a boy, you want to get pregnant again, and you'd love to have that girl. Or you have a girl, you'd love to get pregnant again and have that boy. Or you have several of one gender and you'd like the other. Or in some cases, you have an inherited genetic condition where having a baby of one gender might mean that that baby would be more likely to have a life-threatening condition. And it's really imperative that you have a baby of one gender or another. How can you be more assured of having a baby of a certain gender? Well, let's first start with how a baby becomes a boy baby or a girl baby. We've discussed this in another video. I'd like to repeat it again. Women make eggs in their ovaries. All the eggs are X chromosome cells. Men make sperm. The sperm can either be an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. So whether or not that sperm is an X chromosome or a Y chromosome determines the gender of the baby. XX, girl, XY, boy. Now, there are a lot of wives' tales about how you can try to get the gender that you desire by having sex at a certain time of your cycle, and we've discussed that in another segment. This segment focuses on what doctors can do to help you have the baby of the gender of your choice. Now, most doctors will only do this if, again, you have a condition that makes it crucial for you to have a baby of one gender or another, or for family balancing. If you have no children at home and do not have a medical condition, most physicians will not encourage people to undergo this to just have one type of gender child or another. There are basically two different ways we can do this. The first is sperm spinning. How does that work? Well, we're trying to separate the sperm out into X chromosome sperm and Y chromosome sperm and then inseminate while the woman's ovulating a sperm sample that only has the gender of sperm for the baby that that woman wants to conceive. The most common way to do this is with a technique called microsort. The X chromosomes are heavier. They have more genetic material than the Y chromosomes. All the sperm are dyed with a fluorescent stain, and then this fluorescent stained sperm sample is passed through a laser. The heavier, more fluorescent sperm are taken out and sorted. The lighter, less fluorescently stained sperm, again, put into a different category. So you get the sperm with the gender of your choice. And that, again, is inseminated into the woman while she's ovulating. It is more likely that you will conceive with a girl through this method than a boy. But again, there's about an 80 to 90% chance of getting pregnant with the gender child of your choice with this. It's not perfect, but it's way better than 50-50. The second method is with in vitro fertilization. The Reproductive endocrinologist encourages the woman with medication to ovulate with as many eggs as possible and then takes the eggs out of the follicles with a needle in the vagina. The eggs are then combined with the sperm in a dish and embryos are created. One cell out of each of those embryos is then analyzed for chromosomes and the embryos that are of the gender desired can then be put back into the uterus for conception. That method is usually foolproof, 99%. These are two very effective methods for getting pregnant with the gender of your choice. Hope this has been informative. This is Dr. Lauren Hyman. Thanks for tuning in to Scooch Down.